Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming an everyday makeup look, the one that I've been doing lately. To start, I'm going to be putting on concealer. I like to put on concealer before my foundation. Sometimes I do it after, but I feel like it helps to put it on before just to cover up any acne spots that I might have. I'm doing it today because I do have a bit of acne, but I don't actually wear concealer every single day. It just depends on how my skin is looking. And I like to put concealer under my eyes too since I tend to get a little bit of dark circles. So now I'm coming in with my foundation. I'm using a, a hydrating foundation and it's in the color Creamy Natural 720 by CoverGirl and it's CJ Smoothers. I don't know about you guys, but I like to place little dots on my face, like usually one on my cheek, on one side, on the other side of my cheek, on my chin, a few on my forehead, and then I just drag it around everywhere so it's evenly distributed. Comment down below if you do the same thing, because I'm not sure if anyone does it this way, if this is a normal thing or where I got this from even. Maybe I picked it from up from somebody else. I don't even remember. This is just how I do it every time I use liquid foundation. So next I'm going to put on my eyebrow pencil. I like to put on my eyebrow pencil as soon as possible. I put it on after foundation since I'm smearing the foundation all over my face. I don't want to smear my eyebrow pencil too, but I, I feel like the eyebrows really frame the face, so it's a good idea to put it on, at least for me, soon. Sooner rather than later. So when I'm doing my eyebrows, first thing I do is brush them out before anything else. That way I can see the shape. So I just try and lightly draw them in. The, my left eyebrow is a little more sparse than my right, so I draw a little bit more on my left. And drag it all the way across. I feel like this color really matches my actual eyebrow hair, so it's not too dark, but it's not that much lighter either, so I have to be careful not to draw too much. So now I just um, I like to brush it out again to sort of brush the color through. I'm not sure if that actually works. It feels like it works to brush the color through and that way it's a little more evenly distributed. So now that I've drawn in my eyebrows, I'm actually going to lock it in place with this clear, transparent, it doesn't say what it is, but I think it's supposed to be a clear, transparent mascara. I use it for my eyebrows. I don't use it for my eyelashes at all, actually. So my eyebrows do look a little dewy now, which might be a little weird, but I kind of like it. And it'll harden up so it won't stay looking like that all day anyways. So next I'm going to do my eyes. First I'll put on this Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. I'm putting it all across the top of my eyelid and I'm also putting a little bit on the bottom of my um, eye, <laughs> right below my bottom lashes and in the corner of my eye. I'm trying not to put too much below my eye when I do my eyeshadow, but I will put some in the corner of my eye. That always looks nice. So I'm going to be taking this color, which is 06 Pink Chocolate from this Clinique palette, which is a limited edition palette that I got for Christmas, but I think you can get this shade as a single shade elsewhere from Clinique. So I'm going to be taking this shade Rock Violet, is that the name? Yeah, Rock Violet from Clinique, and I'm going to be putting this in the center of my eyelid. Sometimes I like to mix this color, which is Rock Violet, with this color, which is um, Concord. So I'll just put a little bit of this. I don't want to put too much since it's a really dark color. Then just for fun, I'm going to take a tiny bit of this bright purple shade, which is right here. It's this bright purple peachy pink is the name of it from Clinique in my palette. And I'm going to put it right below my eyelid. 
time to come in with mascara. I'm loving this mascara from Clinique right now. Sometimes when I'm doing my mascara, I feel like it actually helps to slowly blink on purpose. So what I do is I just put the mascara wand. I'll try and do it with this hand so you can see better. So I'll put the mascara wand right up to my waterline and then I just slowly blink to get the mascara through. Time for a blush and bronzer and then I'll be totally done. I'm using this blush from CoverGirl. It's called Cheekers, that's the color. And it's just a nice pink color, um, pretty much just pink with shimmer, not peachy or anything else. So I'm brushing the color out on my arm since I'm going to be using this same brush for my bronzer. I want to get some of the blush off before I put on bronzer. I'm using this blush from Tarte. It's Amazonian Clay in Park Avenue Princess. It looks like a very light color, but it is pretty um, pigmented, so you don't need to use a lot. I very lightly put it on right below my blush, so I start near my smile line, I guess you'd say, and just go up with the same blush brush. And then I like to go in with this big elf brush. I don't know the name of it, but it's just really big and bushy, and I just feel like a little kid just playing with brushes. I think I'm done. That's everything. Sometimes, oh, I'll also put a little bit across my jawline. Kind of super easy contouring. Sometimes I put bronzer right there too. But that's it. So this is my everyday makeup look, even though I don't wear makeup every day. If I do wear makeup, this is what I wear. And actually, I did this makeup look for myself and my mom for my sister's wedding when I was a bridesmaid and my mom actually walked my sister down the aisle. I think we both looked pretty nice. Hopefully we'll look nice in the pictures too. And this is what I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe down below with the little subscribe button. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know what videos you'd like to see next and I'll try and be uploading new videos every Tuesday, so look forward to that. Have yourself a great rest of the day and I'll see you very soon.